view about trying to persuade him that he isn't George oh, Bush. Oh no! He is happy being George Bush. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought up the document to send you to Happy Dale Mental Hospital. Thank you, Reverend. He's just to go to sign the papers. Yes. We do worry about who will look after him when we are gone. Oh, I think he'll be happy there. Well, and where are we going? Or oh, Elaine will be over here looking for me. Thank you. Give our love to Elaine. Goodbye. Yes. 
there's another brother, Jonathan. I have never heard of him. No, we don't talk about Jonathan. He was a nasty boy. He killed all the local cats, cut their heads off. He left home very early by request. Are you two still here? I thought you were going to the movies. Yes, we are just about to leave and feed Ari. Yes, but let me go back to see father. He insists on praying over before I go out. Amen. And don't forget to ask your father about the wedding. What wedding, Mortimer? Who's getting married? Oh, a wedding. Elaine and I are getting married. What? Who cares? I got the most wonderful news. What is it? I'm going to be married. Married? Wow! Elaine must be the happiest girl in the world. She's just going to tell her father. Now, where's my diary? I must clear my schedule for the wedding. What date are you thinking of? What are your plans? I thought I left my diary on the table. Oh, we must have a little celebration. We must drink to your happiness. I'll get a bottle of wine. And some cake? Now, where could I have left it? I do hope you are going to see the romantic movies tonight. What is it called? Murder for breakfast. Oh dear, I wish the cake. <laughs> yes. The movie begins with the discovery of the dead body. He was a 
such a lonely old man. We felt sorry for him, but he had a heart attack and died in that chair. Looking so peaceful. <laughs> so we made up our minds to help other lonely old men with the same thing. So that's how it started. That man walking here and dropping dead. Of course, we realized we couldn't depend on that happening again, so... We prepared a bottle of elderberry wine and added one teaspoon of arsenic, half a teaspoon of strychnine, and just a pinch of cyanide. Should have quite a kid. Yes, yeah, so as a matter of fact, my gentleman said it was quite man delicious. Well, I must start preparing the thing in the kitchen. I wish you could stay for dinner, Master's trading up a new recipe. I couldn't eat a thing. Oh, come and help me, dear.
Nobody? Can't you find someone in the printing department? No, I haven't been drinking, but I'm, in, I'm going to start now. Yes, we like, but first if we like our wine. He has often spoken fondly of this house and his 
ads that he loves so much. Yes, it's very nice to be home again. Well, thank you for coming back. Now I'm sure you will be wanting to say hello. You never happy in this house, Johnson, and we were never happy while you are in it. So goodbye. You can't be stable, you know. Something smells nice. You are having potrons. But there isn't enough. Oh, but I told Dr. I say all about your wonderful cooking, Aunt Martha. Well... That settles. We say more Well, just for dinner then. Come on, Martha. We will have it along.
No, you should get my old room ready. It just needs airing. Up. We keep it ready to show our illusion. Hey, Johnny, tell me the business. Yes. <laughs> Don't tell us that. My dears have invited us to live it. Oh, you fix it. We're just for tonight. Please get our rooms ready immediately. Guess what I found when I went downstairs? It's a basement. George has dug a hole big enough to bury Mr. Spinoza. Down there. You think they were expecting us? No. But it will be a good joke on my hands to bury a body in their basement. How are you getting me? Well, my aunts have gone to bed. We'll bring Mr. Spinazzo through the window. Bed! Finally, we've, we've got a bed for the night! Yes, Jesus. Remember, you're operating tomorrow. And this time, better be soon. I make your place beautiful. And if you don't... Go to bed. I am moving the car behind the house. What are you going to do about Mr. Hoskins? It can't be very comfortable for him in there. We'd better get George to take him to the basement right away. The chair was very pleased with the oil well. He said it's just the right size, but no oil yet. George. I'm afraid there has been another terrorist assassination. Not another one. The chief will be displaced. You mustn't tell him. Bad formula. Top secret. A state secret, is it? Well, I'd better bury him in the basement like the others. Wait! In there. Good. I'll wait, the, wait, I'll wait in the basement. And when you turn the lights off, I'll take him downstairs. I'd like to say a few words of the funeral service. We must get the fire station to bear right like away. Yes, we'd better check on Mr. Hoskins before George buries him. Ah, yes, he does. Look at this. <gasps> we are bringing the rabbit through here. Jonathan, you're yeah, waiting for you. You can go like that. Don't let us keep you up. We have we go to bed late. But you must you must be and very good. I insist you both go to bed now. Very well. Let's go to your rooms and I will turn off the lights. Come on, Doctor. We are the good. Hurry up, turn off the lights.
the end you fight. There, leave. Doctor, I say and I have been invited to stay. Not in this house. It's just for tonight. What? Well, you're leaving first thing in the morning. Where are they sleeping? We put them in Jonathan's old room. That's my old room. I'm sleeping there. I'm here to stay. Oh, Mortimer, I'm so glad. Jane, we sleep down here. You sleep on the sofa, and I sleep on the window seat. The window seat? Oh, let's not argue about it. The window seat is good enough for me tonight. I'll sleep there. You know, Jane, all this argument makes me think of Mr. Spinoza. That's very considerate of you, but we'll sleep down Ah, uh, no, no, I insist. Ah, come, Jenny. We'll get our six. Who is this Mr. Spinoza? Oh, just a friend of ours Johnny's been looking for. Well, don't bring anyone else in here. It's all right, Johnny. We pack our six and I'll tell you all about it. You stay there. I'm sleeping here. Oh, Mortimer. Your brother, the maniac, he attacked me. I was a bagger. Oh, you poor dear. We'll make you a cup of tea. And make me a sandwich. I haven't had dinner. And how about a glass of wine? We haven't celebrated your engagement yet. All right. No wine! <laughs> What's going on in this house, Mortimer? Listen, Elaine. You know, I love you, but realize, I cannot marry you. What? Why? Well, insanity runs in my family. My grandfather was mad. George is completely crazy. And you've seen my fiendish brother, Jonathan. Don't be ridiculous. You are normal. And what about your sweet aunt? Well... <laughs> Another one? <laughs> oh no, look you then. You must leave. Something important has just come up. What? You're acting strange. Yes, I think I'm, go I'm already going mad. <laughs> See, that's why I can't marry you. Now, you must go now. I love you, and I'm going to marry you, is that right? Oh no! <laughs> Good night! Aunt Abby! Aunt Martha! Come in here! Abby dear? What is it? Where is it? I thought you promised not to do, let anyone in this house while I was gone. Well, Jonathan just walked in. I don't mean Jonathan. Who's in the window seat? We told you, Mr. Hoskin! This is not Mr. Hoskins! Why is it done? Don't pretend you don't know! You've killed another gentleman! No, we haven't! <laughs> and where's Mr. Hoskins? George took him to the basement for burial! But how did this gentleman get here? Well, I didn't invite him in. I'm going to get master. Oh, Martin. I'd like a word with you. And I'd like a word with you. Out. You can't stay here a minute longer. I'm glad you agree that we can live under the same roof. But You've got it wrong, brother. You are the one who has to leave. Oh, well, no. I'm not frightened of you anymore. Well, you should be. I don't kill just cats anymore. Masa, just look and see what is that window seat! <laughs> not now, I tell you! Aha! Jonathan! Let Aunt Abby see 
What in the window? Ah, Toby! I owe you an apology. I have good news. Jonathan is leaving. No, I'm not. Then, shall I introduce my aunt to Mr. Spinazzo? And maybe I should call the police. Remember, what happened to Mr. Spinazzo can happen to you. I saw lights on the floor, and without check, not everything was all right. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you had to come back. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Come in here. Yes, you come in here. This is our nephew, Mountain. Please to meet you. And this is another nephew, Jonathan. Please to meet you. It must be nice having your nephews visiting you. Are they staying alone? I'm staying, but my brother is just leaving. I've met you before, haven't I? <laughs> no, I haven't been home for years. But your face looks familiar. Maybe I have seen a photo of it somewhere. I don't think so. Hurry up and pack your things, Jonathan. I'm sure I have seen his face somewhere before. Maybe at the movies. He does look a like a bit. Frankenstein. Mortimer knows all about the movies. He's a film critic. Oh, really? I'm writing a movie script. I became a police officer in order to collect the material for a good story. My real passion is crime movies. Oh, perhaps you can give me some otherwise. Well, we are making sandwiches. Please join us. Oh, yes, please stay. I want to share about all your movies. Oh, you are leaving, Jonathan. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dr. Einstein. I can't see you out having a chat with nice police officer. Dr. Einstein, I think you dropped a shoe. And don't forget to take all your things. Yeah, let's go to the kitchen. We don't want to get in their way. I'm glad you came back to Brooklyn, Jonathan, because it gives me a chance to throw you out. And the first one out is your friend, Mr. Spinner. So we talking here? Uh, no, no, no. Kitchen's fine. Get going, all three of you. This affair between my brother and me has got to be settled. But Johnny, we have trouble enough. Your brother gave us a chance to get away. We must leave. No! We are staying. With a police officer in the kitchen and Mr. Spinazzo in the window seat. That's all he's got to us. We dump Mr. Spinazzo in the bay and come back here. And. If my brother tries to interfere... All right, Johnny. But what about our bus? Do we need to take them if we are coming back? No. Leave them here. Hide them in the basement. Move on. Yeah. You can go out the same way you came. Hey, Johnny! Come quick! What's about? You know the hole in the basement? Yes. Come on, look! Jonathan! 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 Yes, Mortimer. Oh! Why are you still here? I thought I told you! No, we are not leaving. Oh, you're not, are you? Do you want me to tell Officer O'Hara about Mr. Spinazzo in the window seat? We are staying. Very well. You asked for it. Officer O'Hara, come in here! 
here. If you tell Ohara about what's in the window seat, I will tell what's now in the basement. The basement? There's an elderly gentleman down there who seems to be very dead. What are you doing in the basement? What's he doing in the basement? You are excellent to hear all of us when we are here. Shall I bring them here? No, you must keep your plot a secret. We should go somewhere else. Somewhere else. Why don't you two go down to the basement? That's fine with me. Oh, is this a bad I know. We'll go to the cafe down the road. I want you to go by the time I get back. Don't worry, Doctor. We are not going anywhere. I've waited many years for a chance like this. We got you where we want him. Huh. He looks so guilty. Take the box back upstairs, Doctor. Yeah. Have they gone? Oh, we thought we had someone leave. Just what? But. Here is box two. Is there any food left in the kitchen? Yes, but you won't have time. If you're still here, when Mortimer gets back, he wouldn't like it. He has no choice. He'll have to like it. Now, you get us something to eat, or while we bury Mr. Spinazzo in the basement. Oh, no! You can't stay in the basement. No, Jonas, you've got to take him with you. They are the friend of Mortimer downstairs waiting for him. A friend of Mortimer? She and Mr. Spinozzo will get on fine. They are both dead. They must be Mr. Hoskins. Mr. Hoskins? You know about what's downstairs? Of course we do. He's no friend of Mortimer. He's one of our gentlemen. You're a gentleman? And we don't have any strangers buried in our basement. But Mr. Hoskins? Mr. Hoskins isn't a stranger. And besides, there's no room for Mr. Spenazzo. The basement crowded already. Crowded? We yeah. want? There are 12 graves down there. 12 graves?
One down, one to go. You are not going to kill your brother tonight, Johnny. I'm tired. Can't we do him tomorrow? We are operating tomorrow. Now, where are my two? You hid them in the basement. Right. You find more, and I will get my two. Don't do that, Mr. President. I cannot sign any proclamation without consulting my cabinet. But this must be a secret. A secret proclamation? How unusual. Iraq mustn't know until it's signed. Oh! Iraq! Those devilish Arabs! I'll sign it right away. You wait here. A secret proclamation must be signed in secret. Oh, you go now, eh? No, Doctor. I'm waiting for something important. Please, you go now! Doctor Einstein, you seem like a nice fellow. Take my advice and leave here yourself. I warn you! Get away, quick! No, I'm warning you. There's going to be trouble here. I know. Johnny's in a bad mood. When he's like that, he's a madman. Things happen, terrible things! And Jonathan don't, doesn't worry me now. Don't you learn anything from those movies you watch? Like what? Well, at least in movies, people act like they got more sense. That's more than you do. Oh, really? You think people in movies act intelligently? You should see some of the stupid films I have to watch. Take that murder mystery I saw tonight. There's a man, he's supposed to be a clever. He knows he's in the house with murderers. He ought to know he's in danger. He even wants to be get out of the house. But does he go? No, he stays there. Is that intelligent? You asking me? He didn't even have sense to be frightened. For instance, the murderer invites him to sit down. Uh, you mean... Won't you sit down? Yes! The idiot sat in the chair. What happened next? The murderer tied him up, of course. What with? Why? With the curtain cord. Ah, a good idea. Very convenient. A little too convenient. No imagination at all. The car. Uh, he court. didn't see him get it. See him? Yeah. She sat there with his bug to the murderer. That's the kind of rubbish I have to watch. This month he's supposed to be intelligent, sit there, just waiting to trust up and gag. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Stop! Yeah. What? Hey. what are you Let us finish the story. Here the stars are instrument. My friend here is a master artist with a knife. You reply very slowly and thankfully, Mortimer. Ready? I need a drink fast. I can't do without a drink. We are here to get uh, I've got to have a drink. What the what about the wine, Miss O'Alia? Ah. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I split it with you. We need a A drink. One moment. A toast to my dear dead brother. Cheers! Mortimer.
to check the posters? Is there a reward for him? Yes, and I'm claiming it. He was trying to get us down to the basement. He said there were 13 bodies buried in the basement. 13 bodies buried in the basement? <laughs> Ridiculous! He's a madman, and he was probably trying to distract you. Oh, it's Shakespeare. Where have you been all night? I've been right here, sir, writing a movie with Mojima Brewster. Writing it! We'll get back to the station and write a report of why you've been missing all night. Yes, sir. Take him out of here and find his accomplice. You idiot! Falling for a story like that. 13 bodies in the basement. But there are 13 bodies in the basement. <laughs> Who are you? I'm President Bush. Uh, he is a brother, the brother Bilbo. Good morning, Mr. President. <laughs> well, you brought your last Bilbo, Mr. President. Do you mean another assassination? What? All those bodies in the basement were secret agents. Just get him out of here. Captain, I'm Mortimer Brewster. I'd like to talk about my brother Jones, the one who blew the bugle. He's got to be sent to a special home. There have been too many complaints. Yes, I agree. In fact, he signed the commitment papers. You ought to know he's responsible for everything that's happened to him. The 13 bodies in the basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I know those 13 bodies in the basement. Ha! Have you been heard of them? You mean you don't think there are 13 bodies in the basement? Of course not! In my line of work, you hear all sorts of crazy delusions. I see. Excuse me. Good morning, Mortimer. Good morning, Yume. This is Mr. Witherspoon, the superintendent of Happy Day. He's here to meet George. Oh, do come in. This is Captain... Lenny, I'm glad you're here, Super, because you're taking him away. Today? I didn't know that. Not today. Uh, yes, yes. The papers have been signed. The police have ordered it. You cannot order me around. I'm the president of the United States. What's the country coming to? Here's your man, Super. Uh, just a minute. Mr. President, I have good news. Your turn of office is over. You can take that vacation now. Oh, goody! I've been thinking of taking golf trip to Florida. Uh, yes, yes. Um, here's your golf instructor. Great! I'll be the equipment. George! Oh, goodbye, Aunt Abby, Aunt Martha. I'm going to Florida on vacation. Is it wonderful? George! Good morning, Aunt. Oh, we have visitors! This is Captain Rooney, and this is Mr. Witherspoon. He's superintendent of Happy Day. Oh, Mr. Witherspoon, a pleasure to meet you. Have you come to meet George? He's come to take him. Oh, no, you can't. Not while we are alive. I'm sorry, Miss Brewster, but it has to be done. Well, if he goes, we are going to! We are not going to be separated from George! I'm afraid it's impossible. Happy Day is not for same people. Eh, uh, everybody else in this house seems crazy. Their nephew keeps saying that there are 13 bodies in the basement. But there are 13 bodies in the basement! That's right! And if you think George is crazy, we must be too! I don't think the captain wants to waste his time digging for buried body in our basement. He wouldn't have to dig. The graves are all mine. We put flowers on them every day. 
I have a suggestion. Why don't you give this property to the church? Oh, we never thought of that. After all, it should be part of the cemetery. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. Goodbye, aunties. I can't beat your body count now. But you can't beat my either. The score stands even. Twelve to twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Konasa was always a mean boy. He never liked anyone beating him. I wish we could show him he's not so smart. Cheers! 